Solo shot is you know a little bit uh, a step up from from uh, large view, large panoramic uh, view of the field. If you want to isolate one particular player and have them work on their faults um, or see what they're doing well and be able to, to monitor that over a, a long period of time, I think the solo shot's a, a, a pretty good tool to do that because quality is good, it's stable, you get a good view of the, of the player and and it's it's real time. So when you have a human sometimes following one particular player, there always sometimes seems to be a lag time. And, and when you want, as a coach, the, just the play you want him to see or her to see, um, it, it, you may or may not be able to capture that on, on a on a group shot. Um, I think uh, you know the opportunity to analyze one player uh, in a game situation and perhaps even in a practice situation could be real beneficial in changing a person's behavior. Most coaches, our current situation is we don't have the capability for multi-angles, uh, especially in soccer and the budgets we operate with, you know, for multi-angles and to be able to do more than one isolated player, you know, at a time. So we're looking at, at group situations and much of the equipment that we, many schools are, and are using, um, the bigger the, the area, the less the quality. So you have a, you know, you're not always able to, to really determine exactly what, what a player is doing with the ball. Yeah, soccer, you need to be looking at what one player is doing while he has the ball, when he doesn't have the ball, when, when, when he's moving and recovering in defense, it's all really important. We sit down and analyze with the players, you know, we'll, 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 uh, we'll say, what, what, what were you thinking here? What did you see here? Uh, that was great technique. That wasn't great technique. Um, off the ball, you were, you were playing extremely well. Um, especially in soccer, I could see this being a great benefit because some of the kids, the hardest thing to get across to them is the most important player is not the one with the ball. And uh, the uh, and players, if they could see themselves and what they're doing when they don't have the ball, could be really, really advantageous.